Welcome to the last part, part 5 of Matrix Algebra 101 as part of the TLR course. Um, in this last part, we are basically just going to deal with some assignments or tasks that you please have to attend to. We have basically now gone through the whole process of def defining what a matrix is and also uh, all the calculations needed for you to solve an equal number of uh, unknowns uh, compared to the number of equations used in that. So this is a very practical part in the sense that you have to uh, tend to it and you have to work out uh, these assignments. So good luck with uh, part 5. Please pay speci specific attention uh, to these assignments. I have mentioned that in the last slide of uh, part 4 some aids as to what you can use uh, on the internet that can assist you in how to use uh, spreadsheets for example or other means uh, in assisting you to um, utilize uh, those programs for the calculations in matrix algebra. So please visit these um, possible options uh, to assist you in, in, in that regard. So uh, this is just some examples. Uh, there's one um, in, um, in more in the open and LibreOffice, which is an open uh, uh, source, uh, which you don't have to pay for, which you can install on your, on your computer, PC, um, and uh, utilize that without having to pay any license fee or buy the programs uh, as it's open source. So you can you can basically use that or if you do use a Excel which is a Microsoft product uh, on on solving these linear equations uh, there are also aids as to how you can use it they will also be on the internet sometimes there are also YouTube videos that can assist you on exactly how you can do these calculations uh, matrix algebra calculations uh, there's even a so-called online matrix calculator, if you, uh, which you can use even with a tablet or a or cell phone if need to be, um, where you can calculate the transpose, determinant, uh, the trace, um, and the inverse of a matrix. Obviously, it will be limited in size uh, based on, on uh, where you have an interactive internet-based uh, calculation, but it's possible. Uh, to also do it that way. Good, the first task then at hand, and, and basically uh, this fifth part will just uh, uh, deal with tasks. So um, in, in these cases, I've basically used a spreadsheet and typed in the matrices um, on a spreadsheet and do my own calculations. And it's also then expected of you as, a, uh, as part of this course to use something like a spreadsheet um, to uh, do these calculations. So here we have a few matrices. Uh, matrix A, uh, matrix 1 is a 2 by 2 matrix. Here you can see it. Uh, matrix 2 is also a 2 by 2 matrix. Matrix 3 is a 3 by 3 matrix. Mat matrix 4 is a 4 by 4 matrix. Matrix 5 is a column vector. Matrix 6 is again a 4x4 matrix. Matrix 7 again is a 4x4 matrix. Matrix 8 is a row vector with uh, 4 rows, 1 column, uh, 4 columns, 1 row I mean. And matrix 9 is then a, also a row vector with uh, three columns. So those would be our matrices in, in the first assignment or task. So please use Excel or any other spreadsheet to determine, to calculate the determinants, inverse, transpose, as well as some multiplications. One with two, matrix one with two, three with nine, three uh, with matrix nine. Um, 3 with a determinant of 9 and 6 with the inverse of 6 with itself and also 9 with 3. So obviously you, uh, through this course we have done some 
uh, rules as to when you can determine the inverse and when not. Uh, use those rules, remember those rules, and basically then use it for this, this first assignment. Uh, and please do that so that you, you familiarize yourself uh, on how to um, use a tool such as a spreadsheet to assist you in doing these calculations. So that is your first assignment or first task. The second um, assignment is basically um, uh, like the example we've used in, in the fourth part, where we have a certain number of equations and a certain number of unknowns. So our unknowns would be A, B, C, and D. So our first equation is uh, 22A minus 101B plus 22. To C equals 334. Uh, second equation, you will see uh, it's 0A plus 14B and so forth equals minus 10. Uh, third equation, where we, we have all these unknowns, and then the fourth equation also with our unknowns. So you have to basically then use a spreadsheet or another means, setting up your coefficient matrix, setting up your scalar uh, column vector or your column vector with the unknowns a b c and d and also your right hand side as a column vector uh, 334 minus 10 triple 2 and 44.2 and then use um, basically get the uh, inverse of the of the coefficient matrix pre-multiply it with the right hand side and you end up with a column vector of uh, which will then give you the uh, solutions for A, B, C, and D. So please do that then as your second second assignment. So in that assignment, you will do an inverse. You will you will multiply, pre-multiply, um, and you will end up with your with the solutions to your unknowns. So, okay, so that is task two or assignment two, and then the third one, which is closer to home, that's. Uh, uh, livestock or animal science related so think very carefully when you when you do this assignment so the the following table represents winning weights of beef cattle weaners of two sexes male and female in three herds so you have to calculate it the weighted mean per sex so what you sex is or the 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 effect of sex is an unknown so you have one unknown uh, male and female what is so you have a1 and a2 let's say it's a1 a2 that that would be male and female and then you also have three extra unknowns and that is the three hertz so you will basically have an a b that's the two sexes c d and e that's the three forms so the effect of the sexes and the effect of the forms are unknown. And um, so we, we call it the weighted mean. So if you, if you get solutions for sex 1 and sex 2, you will automatically have the weighted mean. So irrespective of the fact that you have your numbers differ, you don't have exactly the same number. So you can't just use an average or a mean. Uh, for the for the two sexes. So on each farm, in, in, in on the first farm, there are 25 males and 27 females. So they're not equal in numbers. The same on, and on farm 2, 113 and uh, 111. And then on farm 3, 85 and 88. So if you add that up, all the males and females, you will see that you end up with uh, different numbers of males and females. So you need to to take that in consideration. The same with, with the farms. You will see that on each farm, uh, there are completely different numbers uh, of number of animals. More numbers on, on farm two, uh, a little bit less on farm three, and the lowest number on farm one. So you have to set up um, your, your, um, your uh, matrix matrices, uh, your coefficient matrix, you have to set up your your column vector of unknowns sex one sex two form one two and three and then uh, on your right hand side you have to uh, basically use these 
average uh, values that you have on this side. So you have to then solve these unknowns. What is the effect of sex one? Let's say male. Um, uh, how much are they heavier than than than, than the females? And that's a, basically a least square. And also the effect of the farm, which which farm and how much would farms uh, differ in terms of the effect on on winning weight in this 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 case. So this is a very nice challenge, and um, I will leave you to it. And hopefully you will be able to use a lot of common sense, but also go and read up a little bit on how do you set this up and how do you end up uh, to let's say give advice back to a breeder society as to the real effect of, of sex on winning weight and also have a sensible means of, of reporting back to the farms irrespective of sex uh, what is the effect of that farm on the weight of those calves so you can see this is already a very practical way of dealing or how, how matrix algebra assist you in dealing with with these type of uh, calculations Good luck with this. Uh, I'm sure that you will be able to sort this out, and um, uh, and and it's also a good thing that you do confer with each other as to how to utilize this very important tool, na namely matrix algebra, to solve um, an animal science answer uh, in this in the process. So. Um, Everything that we have done in these five um, parts of the of this uh, what what I call Matrix Algebra 101, um, I'm also attaching a PDF file uh, from StarTech um, that also um, it's basically an internet net based um, file or file on the internet that you can download. But I, I'm also attaching that or um, giving you access to that specific file. And everything that's being done in this course, plus a little bit more, I think, um, is accessible on that file. So please uh, also read through that. That's uh, compulsory reading material to read through that and uh, familiarize yourself with all the all the different definition, definitions and the way that matrix algebra is being used um, uh, on a on a normal basis. Thank you for your attendance and uh, good luck with the course and please, um, again, please uh, uh, give, give extra attention to the assignments because uh, that is the practical part of the whole course. Thank you very much.